In this Google Sheets video, I'm going to teach you several essential mathematical functions to use in your Google Sheets. Let's get started. So here I have a spreadsheet with a list of employees of a small business. And it would be nice if I could figure out certain key information from this data. For example, I'd like to know the total salary, average salary, highest, lowest, and also how many total employees this business has. How could we figure those things out in an easy and powerful way? We're going to use some functions. So first, let's add up all of these salaries to figure out the total salary expenses for this small business. So I've clicked here on cell D13, and I'm going to type equals. Anytime I'm working in Google Sheets and I want to create a formula, I start with equals. And in my mind, I think this cell equals, and that always reminds me to put in an equal sign. So this cell equals what? Well, I want it to equal all of these salaries added up. Now, Google Sheets is smart, and sometimes it figures out what you want before you actually do it. And so that's happened in this case. It's figured out that I want to perform a sum of all of these numbers. In other words, I want to add them all up. So it's in gray already put in the formula that I want. But I could type it out manually if I want to. So equals sum, left parenthesis. Next, I need to show Google Sheets what range of data I want it to add up. And I can show it that by clicking and dragging. Let's say I want to add up all their ages. I could click and drag to show that, or I could just type in the cell references. So B2 through B11. And in Google Sheets, you put in the word through. Instead of using the word, you put in a colon. So in this case, I don't really want to add up their ages. I want to add up their salaries. So I could click and drag to select that range, or I could just type in D2 through through D11. I should put in my right parenthesis, though in many cases you don't have to do that. And then I'll tap enter on the keyboard, and Google Sheets has figured out the total salary expense for this small business. Let's now figure out the average salary. So I clicked on D14, and I'll type equals. Now Excel thinks I want to do another sum. Well, I don't. So I'm going to just type in average. And notice that Google Sheets is kind of coaching me and helping me along. Once I started typing average, it narrowed down the number of functions that I might want. And here is Google Sheets' list of guesses for what I might want to be typing here. But I'll just finish typing out average, left parenthesis, and then I'll click and drag to select the range that I want to average. This time I'm not going to put in the right parenthesis, just to demonstrate that you don't have to in many cases. I'll tap enter. The average salary for the employees is 88000 Great. So, so far we've looked at sum and average. Now let's look at max. Max can help me find the highest number in a range of numbers. So I'll type equals max, left parenthesis, and then in this case, I think I'll just type in the cell references. So D2 through D11, right parenthesis, tap enter on the keyboard, there's the highest salary. It happens to belong to the CEO. Now let's go to the lowest salary, equals min, left parenthesis. I need to show the range of data that I want to look through to find the lowest number, the min number. I'll put in my right parenthesis, tap enter. There's the smallest or lowest salary. Okay, finally, we've gotten to count. And I could change this in the spreadsheet and just call this total number of employees. And then I'll tap tab to tab over. So I'd like to count up how many salaries or how many employees we have in this small business. To do that, I'll just type equals, count, I'll put in a left parenthesis, and then I'll just click and drag to highlight the range that I want to count, tap enter. There are currently 10 employees in the small business. Let's say somebody new is hired in the company. I could right click anywhere here at the left and choose insert row above. Let's say John Doe comes into the company as a salesperson making $56,000. I'll tap enter. All of these numbers update and change and the total number of employees also increases. Now, just a quick tip. If you want to count anything other than numbers, you need to use not count, but count A. So let me demonstrate that. If I just say count the different people's positions in this company, I tap enter, Google Sheets is showing zero because it's counting the total number of numbers in a range. So instead of using count in that case, I could use count A. Put in a left parenthesis. This time, instead of the job positions, I'm gonna select the range of names. So it's gonna count all of the names, and because I used count A instead of count, it's okay that these names are text and not numbers. I'll tap enter on the keyboard, and it gives me the correct answer. So there is a key difference between count and count A. 
All right, we've looked at the essential mathematical functions in Google Sheets. If there's a lot of interest in this video, I will create additional videos teaching you more functions in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider joining me as a channel member. You'll get some nice perks and it really does help the channel continue to move forward. You can also support me by clicking the thanks button below the video or through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say a special thank you to my super techie supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. It's partially because of you that I'm able to continue to make these educational videos in my evenings and weekends. Thank you so much for all you do. 